Hey everybody, Jack Stefanowski here, more than happy to present the technical activity. It's going to be a little bit different. What we're going to focus on is brain skill. Alright, so the first one, a question we got to ask you, okay, your right side of the brain, okay, controls which part of your body, the right or the left? Yeah, okay, so we got the right side of your brain controlling the left, okay, and you also have your left obviously controlling your right. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a lot of exercises that help you make quicker decisions, okay, be able to move your body, okay, and there's a lot of coordination stuff as well. So first one, you're going to do three times 20 repetitions, okay. You're going to have two balls, okay, you can use a golf ball, you can use tennis ball, okay, as long as just two small balls, okay. First one, two balls here, you're going to throw, okay, and the key here is that you be able to see both balls at the same time, okay, and you're going to see early on you might drop it a couple of times, no problem, okay. So if you do drop it, get back into it right away and finish your 20. Alright, so you're here, you're here, you're here. Okay, we'll go about five more. Two, three, four, five. Okay, then shake it off. Continue to work your way up. This is something you can do on a daily basis. We're going to have different levels. We'll keep adding more exercises and we'll make it a little bit more complex. Alright, so you go for a second round here, here. Now we're going to progress it a little bit. Okay, so we're going to look to throw the ball up and cross our arms across. Alright, so we're going to go here and there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoops, Keep, get right into it. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, whoop, 13, 14, 15, whoops, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, okay? So your target or your goal is to be able to do those 20 times without dropping the ball. Alright, so we're going to go another round. Now what you're going to notice is some of us will favor one arm over the other one. Okay, so for example, I'm always going with my right over left. Okay, so here, okay, so we want to be able to go both ways where our left also goes over our right. Okay, so have a look, so you're going to alternate here, 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 here. Here, here. Now we're going to look to add the feet into it. Okay? Yeah, so we got our hands going. Now we're going to go feet. So here, crisscross, back out. Crisscross, back out. Crisscross, back out. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, okay? So you saw on that one, kept favoring my left arm under my right, okay? So we want to try to change that, make it a little bit more difficult, okay? And make it more complex, okay? So now, we're going to try again, all right? So you're here, okay? And can we alternate? while we use our um, switching over our feet as well. Okay, and here we go. Here we go. Okay, so challenging myself to have arms over and then your feet also to be able to crisscross and alternate, okay? So look there, the bit of alternate, okay, right over left arm, right over left, okay, and then also switching the feet. Okay.
Okay, great. So, hopefully that that one here, you go three times 20. Now we're gonna go into the next one, okay? So, last one here, all right? So, you're gonna start open with your hands, but then close with your legs. Again, your arms are crossed and your feet are apart. And then we're gonna look to throw, and your hands are gonna be apart and your feet are gonna be crisscrossed, okay? So let's try, here we go. We're gonna go for 20, ready? And here we go. One, two. Okay, the key is that you're getting into a rhythm. Okay, so fix it there, crisscross, and here. Open and crisscross. Open legs, crisscross arms. Okay, open arms, crisscross legs. All right, great guys. Ho hope you enjoyed the first part with the two tennis balls. Okay, and we worked on the brain skills. Okay, stay with it. It's going to develop your brain here, make actions quicker, okay, and also make your decisions quicker, okay. Second part, we're going to look to get as many touches on the ball as we can. The whole key here is we want to get a feel for the ball with a different part to the foot. Alright, so first one here, we're going to go, alright, and we'll do repetitions of 20. Okay, so first one here, as fast as you can, look to roll the ball using the whole part of your foot. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Opposite. One, two, three. So next one here, we're gonna look to go again three times twenty each leg. And this one here, we're going to look to go sideways, right? So we're going to roll the ball, okay, here, 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 here. So just a touch with the inside there, and then just a little touch there, okay? So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So again, the key is get as many touches, get a feel for the ball, okay? Get the bottom of the foot. Okay, to feel comfortable with the ball. Okay, awesome. So now we got the third exercise. Okay, so what we're gonna look to go, we'll go one direction. Okay, and look to get 20 touches on the ball. All right, so here we go. We're gonna turn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome, and again we go. Try to keep your head up. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, that's 20 right leg. Now we're gonna go the other way. One, two, three. Four, five, six, ten. Okay, awesome. So we got all three exercises. Okay, the key here is we want to get as many touches with the ball. <laughs> Great stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the brain skills and getting as many touches with different parts of your foot just to help you with the uh, tight space. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much.